All right, um, what we're going to work on today is graphing um, inequalities. I mean, that's really, that's what we're all here for, right? And that's what this is all about. So um, this line going um, across here, that's your X. This is your Y. I've labeled as such with an X and a gross looking Y. All right, now we're going to graph this right here. X is greater than negative 2. Okay? Now, the first thing you're going to notice in here is in this equation, x it's not like usually you have a formula for a line because what you're going to do is essentially plot a line and then you're going to make it either dotted or solid and then you're going to shade above or below it. That's really your three steps there. So your first step, plot the line, okay? Now, usually you have in a slope-intercept form where it's like y equals 2x plus b or, or y equals, I'm sorry, y equals mx plus b. So, and then you have numbers in there. I tried to substitute numbers. That's weird. Okay. So what you do is this one's different because it's just x is greater than negative 2. There's no y there. I mean, it's going to probably be a straight line side to side or, or up and down. What you do is you pretend like this isn't there. Pretend like it's just an equal sign. That's how you plot the line. x equals negative 2. That means that no matter what we put in for our coordinates on this line, doesn't matter what the y is, x is always going to be negative 2. We can make y 0, we can make it 3, we can make it whatever. x will always be negative 2. So therefore we can plot some points on there. So I'll start at my origin and I'll go back 2 and then up 0. So that's one coordinate. And then I go back 2, up 3. And then if I say coordinate is negative 2, negative 5. So I'll go back two, down five. What does it look like my line is going to be, up or down or side to side? Up and down all day. Okay, so we know it's an up and down line. Now, second thing I said, dotted or dashed, people call it different things. Dotted or solid? Really easy to determine. If, if our inequality is like that, it's dotted. If it has an equal to sign, it's solid. Okay? So, solid if it does that, dotted if it's the other one. Now, that just means that here we're saying x is greater than negative 2. It means it can't equal negative 2. Now, with the other one, it says greater than or equal to. Well, we're not saying that here, so it's just greater than. So, this is going to be a dotted line, or dash line, however you want to say it. So, we've got our line. Now, the only thing left we have to do is shade. Okay, on this one we're going to shade either to the left or to the right. Okay? Now, there's a couple different ways to do this. Um, I think the easiest way, pick a coordinate. Like, I always choose the origin if I can. Pick the origin. Zero, zero. Plug it into the equation up here. If it works, then you'll shade this side of it. If it doesn't work, you shade the other side of it. Alright, so let's plug it in x is greater than negative 2. Our x in this equation is 0. Is 0 greater than negative 2? Yeah, it is, because 0 is larger than a negative, which would be less than 0. So since this works, we shade the side that includes the origin. And that's how you do um, graphing linear inequalities. And that's how we do it in Compton, in my opinion.